Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're getting back into the data structure and algorithm series. And I just want to go over some problems in the next couple of, you know, batches of these videos for data structure and algorithms and just go over stream processing. I just know when I was doing my interviews and stuff, a lot of stream processing questions came up and to say the least, I was not prepared but um we're gonna get better okay um so let's get into this first problem of this series shuffling strings here's the problem you're given a string s in an integer array indices of the same left the string s will be shuffled such that the character at the i position moves to the indices i in the shuffle string return the shuffle string all right we have example one right here as you can see it's trying to spit out lead code clearly lead code you're so full of yourself as you can see you have these indices matching up with the letters it looks like all right when you shuffle them you see with that c that c actually goes with that four so when you shuffle them, you can actually put it in order of what that code what that word looks like all right cool we got that so we're giving the input code lit and indices of you know four five six seven and then once you shuffle those and put those indices in order the letters sh should respond respectively to their indices matching all right so example two for the s string you have a b c's and for the indices you have zero one two so the output should just be a b so when you shuffle the positions of the characters that should remain in the same position all right so here's a little constraints here we have the s length is equal to the indices length equals to n and the n could be between 1 and 100 so we ain't gonna have a zero case in here so we could just say there's no string to output so that's cool at least it has to be one string all right all the values in indices are unique so that's very important the values of the indices are unique of course you can't have the same position for the same letter so all right that makes complete sense and that's going to be pretty helpful so let's get into the first bit of solving this problem since the indices are matching up with each other that's gonna pretty much put in my head that i'm going to need a hash map because the indices are going to be unique and i'm going to use those indices as keys and then use the letters the characters as values so before i do that i'm gonna i'm gonna get the length of this indices to pretty much get the number of characters that will actually be in this string. So let's see, and then equals to indices length, and that's gonna give me the length of the indices. I'm gonna use that for later, and now we're gonna get into the next step, number two. Next, we're gonna need to get the characters of the strings into our array, all right? I don't remember exactly how to get these characters. This is why we're here. Gosh. God. So let's Google it. All right, so we can use this method right here. I think this is the method that we need, two char method. Do something similar. All right, so now we're gonna do this string and we're gonna call this um, char array. All right, so next, then we need to figure out how we're gonna match those characters to the indices. All right, so we know that uh, the characters are in order in which the indices are in order right now. So we need to match those together. And like I said earlier, I think this is gonna have to use a hash map for this one. Because with a hash map, it allows you to put the key as a unique value. And because the character is only gonna have one particular position, there's not gonna be multiple positions one character should have. Sh they should match up to each other respectively currently. So I'm gonna use the hash map and put those in a hash map. So I'm gonna create a hash map here. Hash map and the uh, key should be integer and uh, should be a string. Um, Cause I don't think you can do a character for hash map, I can't remember. All right, and then we're gonna do the index map. We're gonna call that string index map. And then we're gonna do should be more like index stream map whatever um hash map integer oh my god i'm typing so much so now we need to match those indices as the keys and the characters as the values so we're going to use a for loop to put that populate that hash map with those keys and values 
So we're gonna use a traditional for loop in this case. We're gonna do a int i zero and i is less than min. And it should be less than the enough for the array. And we're gonna increment that for each iteration. Then we're gonna do a do the string index put indices i and char array. Uh, hmm, is that right? Yeah. I just noticed something. So this is a char character. It's not a string character. So I know in the past, I've seen this before, a, car, a char cannot be converted to a string. So I need to find a method that will essentially turn that char character into a string character. <sighs> Back to Google again char to string yeah char to string method i'm pretty sure there's a way there's a will there's a way string value of all right string value of that's just probably the easiest way to do this string value of okay got that in there and close that hash map. So step four, now we need to sort those indices in order so that we can not sh shuffle, I should say. I don't know why they said shuffle. It doesn't make sense to me, but it's, it's more of like a sort. So it's going from zero to the highest number. We're sorting those indices so we can sort those characters. So we're gonna use this built-in Java function that I use all the time, which has a time complexity of n log of n, which is probably one of the best time complexities to sort anything. All right, so we're gonna do a arrays sort, and this is just a static method that's gonna sort this array and return it back. Now we need to loop through and build this stream back up. All right, so let's get the sorted indices array and look at each element. And then we're gonna loop through and we need to build a string. So let's get the string builder class to build this string. So first we gotta build the initialized uh, string builder. Okay, um, let's just call this string uh, creation. Then we're gonna do a string builder. Now we're gonna loop through those indices. Okay, we're gonna just do a four for each. Um, let's make it easy for ourselves. And let's see, indices. And then we're gonna do string creation. Mm -hmm. And pin. And uh, we're gonna pin the map. We're gonna get the value of the map at the key, which is the current index, and then it's gonna append that string value there. And that should be it. Now, finally, let's return the string, um, getting the string builder to string method, which is, let's see. Boom, to string, bam, bam. All right, so before we submit this, of course we gotta get some B-roll in there, so run the B-roll. Let's look at the time complexity of this algorithm. Because we have over four loop, we at most will have to loop through each and every single index of the indices or the string values uh, of the characters. So we will have in um, O of N. <laughs> but the biggest portion of this algorithm is the sorting of the indexes. So that arrays.sort function actually has a time complexity of N times log of N. Um, so that's actually gonna be our bottleneck right there. And essentially, that's gonna cause us to uh, take more time as n grows in value. So the space complexity will be um, O of n. And the reason behind that is because we 
allocated a hash map that will essentially have to hold and match those indices up and uh, the values of the string characters to those indices. As n values grow and for the hash map, it will essentially grow in values of um, respect to n. So as the value of the string grows in the same proportion as the indices, that will essentially cause the space complexity of the algorithm to grow O of n times. So thank you for watching that video. In this series of data structures algorithm, I'm pretty much preparing myself for FANG interviews. So if you want to stay around, I also plan on discussing my latest and recent interview with uh, FANG companies. And essentially I failed, but I'm going to go over why I think I failed. And yeah, I'll give you a little feedback on that whole entire interview process. So I'm going to be dropping that in this particular series for data structures and algorithm. And I have other series in my YouTube channel. So check them out, subscribe, and stay updated on any awesome videos that I post. So until next time, peace. Mm -hmm. This is why we're here, guys, okay? This is why we're here. I don't know this stuff. I'm just messing it up. <laughs>